I find the best projects always begin from a student's idea. So last year when Bryden came to me and he showed his interest in Warhammer figures and Hero Forge figures, he said, please, can we have a project in the future that involves these type of 3D printed miniature figures that you can paint and bring to life in that way? And I realized we were about to pilot a brand new holistic curriculum for NB Ed, uh, New Brunswick Education. And in that holistic curriculum, there is a strong focus on Wabanaki culture and values. So I realized I didn't want to teach this standing at the front of the room presenting slides. It just didn't feel authentic enough. And that's when that aha moment came from Bryden's idea along with this new curriculum to create a not only a board game process, a board game product called Wabanaki Quest where the five nations of the Wabanaki travel throughout their traditional lands to a gathering and along the way certain events happen. So that is how Wabanaki Quest came to be. That is why we have the product today and the process today that other schools around New Brunswick can emulate in partnership with Brilliant Labs. The creation of the game started by finding the traditional territories of the five nations. The processes involved in the game were many. We had to cut and etch and burn into wood the game cards, the event cards, as well as the board game itself. For the game pieces, we wanted them to be more authentic, so we went with 3D printing. Brilliant Labs provided a resin printer, and we were able to not only design the pieces online, but get those 3D printed files into a 3D printer, printed for our artists to paint, and color-coded much like a board game would be, to match the different five nations or the five different nations. Meanwhile, you had a whole crew of students in Canva, and what they were doing was designing the event cards, coming up with the events, the pronunciations in Mi'kmaq. The whole game is in the language of Mi'kmaq. So it really was a startup environment for this project. I'm Boyden McCachran. I'm a grade eight student, and I'm here at Caledonia. My job in the game was to make the 3D images, to download them to the 3D printer, and I used Hero Forge. My name is Aiden Johnston. I'm doing like 3D printing for our group. Our role in the game was fact checking, researching, and we also were working on micro bits. Our involvement with the game was painting the characters. So the colors that we use symbolize different tribes. I didn't have a limit on what I could do with it. My only creation was I had to do all the laser cutting and pro the go to the files and put it all in the wood make sure it was all aligned. My role in the creation of the game was to do the AI on a Discord server. It's called Pika Labs. And we put in like slash create and then whatever the card was because I was in the research of the cards. So it was a forest card slash create deer hopping in bush or anything like that. And it gave me a three second clip video and I put it into Canva and then sent it to Mr. Kelly. The number one thing I feel the kids gain from this experience is the whole startup atmosphere. We really approached this much like an entrepreneurship project. We knew that the process would be important, but each and every one of them brought their own skills to this endeavor. It's been great to kind of be their project manager. I think I might have found a different calling now. Instead of teaching, I could go be a project manager after this, I believe, because it was a very cool startup environment. For me, I think students had fun making the game because it was something hands-on and you weren't just sitting down at your seat doing paperwork. It makes things a lot more interesting instead of just watching someone present. My favorite part about the project was the painting. I just find painting really relaxing. I'm most proud about the board game itself. It took so long to make it. One of the things I enjoyed about this process was testing the game. It was really fun trying to ensure that we eliminated all the errors. My favorite part was getting to know more people and learn more about the Wabanaki. I think my favorite part of this journey was actually getting to play the game after we had successfully completed making it. I felt proud of myself that I had made something that was actually extremely fun to play because it felt like just a normal family board game and I had helped create this. My favorite part about working on this project, it's the little things, it's, it's the accidents. It's the day we cut the 3D printer film and resin poured all over the table. It seems weird to focus on the mishaps and, and the funny little things that really don't apply to the Wabanaki culture. Uh, I, I will let McLaren tell her story about one day. Well, I kind of picked up a fox card and he wasn't thinking and he said, what did the fox say? I slowly smiled and said, ding, 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 ding. Those are the things that I really think built my relationship stronger with the kids and in the end, even beyond the Wabanaki culture, this is about building relationships with your students and I really do feel it's those moments that counted most. 
We are looking for other teachers around the province and around Atlantic Canada to take up this calling to do Wabanaki Quest, maybe in their own nation's language. For instance, the Wallisiquay people of the St. John area. If you're nervous about taking this endeavor on, realize the brand new curriculum fully supports you. Brilliant Labs will be there to support you in any way technology-wise that you need. And just let the kids run the process. Again, I call myself the project manager, but really I just had the best seats in the house. I was there to witness all of these students putting 80, 90 hours into building this board game and the learning that came from this experience will outlast everything else that they've learned on a worksheet or on a, on a slideshow. We love Brilliant Labs!